So let's have a look at, uh, I guess, that sort of bigger picture of, you know, what windshield PLM really starts to look like. Okay. So if we come back here to um, to our CAD data that, you know, typically that's what all we're interested in managing when we get into, uh, into PDM. Now I can go and look at this CAD data and I can see that, well, actually now I'm starting to use these, uh, these enterprise parts. Actually, let me just go to the structure for this. Okay, so I can start to see a more uh, complete definition of that. Okay, so I can see my, come on, once it loads up, there we go. Okay, I can start to see uh, this bomb structure, which can come from CAD, okay, but we can start to include additional information inside this structure. Okay, so you can see here with our passenger seats, we've got our CAD, we might have some drawings if we've created them. We've also started to incorporate our, um, our documents as well. Okay, so we know that you know, when we're looking to make changes to this, okay, we can actually see that there's a, a pending change on this item, and here's the uh, the document that's resulting from that change. You know, if I want to start to look at what's happening with that change, I can start to dig in and see, well, here is the change information that we're running inside our PLM system windshield to manage that. You can see that somebody reported a problem, that there was some missing documentation. Okay, so we then went on into this um, into the state of doing a a change request led to a change note. Okay, uh, there was another change note that we also had to deal, deal with. We've looked at that and already handled that. You can see this other one's uh, currently running. You can start to drill into the details of that and see what's going on. Okay, we need to add in the missing documentation. There's the item that was affected. We can start to see the plan that we're doing for that. Somebody's got to go and create that. Uh, so Paul was assigned to go and create the installation document. Okay. Uh, Pat reviewed that to make sure that it was all okay, all right? So we can start to see a more complete definition of that. If we go back and look at uh, something else, let me just go back here to uh, my overloaded example, okay? So we can also start to see things like our configurable products, right? So here now we've got uh, a whole bunch of different options, kind of similar to what you saw with the CAD model, but at a higher level here. So now we can start to see we've got chassis modules, suspension modules, all of these things, again, our overloaded bomb, which we can then start to uh, apply filters. And maybe we can say, well, we want to look at the current manufacturing year of our Red Indy model. Let's filter the bomb down to show uh, all of that information. Okay. So once we've filtered that, we can see that viewable. We can maybe look to generate a downstream bomb, uh, a whole bunch of other information. But at any point, we can even go in here and we can start to compare, you know, that bomb either to previous versions of the bomb or we can even go back and compare that to a CAD structure. So I can see, you know, what have we changed from the original CAD into a more uh, holistic bomb definition of this particular product, okay? So I'm conscious of the time. I've probably gone a little bit over, but uh, that's really just the, the sort of core of, you know, how PLM starts to fit into this thing. You know, we are moving beyond just simple document manage, management Okay, CAD documents, drawings, you know, other documents, and more into the world of, you know, what we call, you know, sort of part management. We're dealing with parts and structures and all of the associated information that describes uh, how they work. Okay. All right. So that's what we wanted. To, I wanted to cover off uh, in the presentation day. Uh, before we dive into the questions, just uh, if you want to know more on this, because you know we only had a short webinar on this, uh, we did run a series of webinars last year where we did get into you know a lot more detail on you know PDM, sharing information, you know management of bombs, quality uh, changes, things like that. So um, so if you want to see more on those, uh, we did as we did do some webinars last year, and the the replays are available uh, on our product design blog. 